using the C CMIS interface to interact with <coughs> other um, enterprise content management systems. If I speak uh, very fast, you can slow me down by shouting. So, uh, short about NXE, our goal is to be uh, um, Europe's best consulting agency dedicated to open source solutions. Um, we have been around for 10 years and uh, we have had a strong focus on open source since day one. <coughs> Now we are a consulting agency uh, dedicated only to solid and professional solution, solutions based on uh, two things. It's open and reliable. Open source, open standards, open architecture. And uh, we only deliver reliable um, uh, software. That means uh, we back them with enterprise subscription services from our vendors, such as ECI. I will start with a bit of history, uh, 10 years commitment to open source. Uh, we established the office in uh, Ålesund, Norway. We're also a Norwegian company um, in Ålesund on the west coast of Norway. Very windy and rainy, so we have to do something else than being outside. So we started a Nexus group back then, now we're called NXE. Uh, we've been a partner with the Easy Systems since 2003, so we have uh, skilled developers on Easy Publish, and uh, we are one of the main players uh, in terms of uh, Easy Publish uh, in the world. I would say. Uh, in 2004, we opened a sales office in Oslo, and uh, February 2008, we uh, bought or acquired uh, Easy Systems Ukraine. Uh, we were handed the development staff of Easy Systems. And uh, we took that opportunity, and uh, in July 2008, we established the headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland. And uh, me and the other owner, we moved with our families to Switzerland to establish the office there. Uh, many people ask us why we chose Switzerland, but well, it's, it's in the middle of Europe, so easy access to all the countries in Europe. Easier than in Olsen, by the way. And uh, in May 2009, we bought uh, another easy partner in, uh, in Ukraine called the Internet Bureau. They were situated in Kiev and had a development office in, uh, in a town called uh, Ushkorod, which is on the <laughs> border of uh, Ukraine and Hungary. And in uh, June 2009, we established uh, NXE Interactive in Lausanne and Oslo. Uh, NXE Interactive is uh, well, an interactive bureau. Um, it doesn't fit with the open source profile <laughs> because we work a lot with the uh, Apple products, etc. So, well, we have to shift that out to another company. In uh, August 2009, we established the sales office in Lausanne. We got uh, staff on ground in Lausanne, and uh, one, one month later, we established the op uh, office in Copenhagen, and a month after in Paris, and. Uh, then we slowed down a bit for a couple of months, and then we established in, in London. And uh, I think in May 2010, uh, so this year, we uh, bought a substantial part of uh, Naviatek, Finland. And uh, Naviatek was also an easy, easy systems partner. And uh, yeah, we, uh, well, together with Naviatek, we rebranded uh, the whole company to NXE Finland. Uh, our average uh, annual growth from um, yeah, has been 40%. From uh, 0 8 to 9, it's uh, we've grown 100%, and from 9 to 10, we will also grow 100%. In 2009, we went from 18 employees to 50, and uh, this year we are well. Now we are. A little under 72 employees, I think. People are <laughs> coming in every day. And, uh, well, we uh, hope to land on 75 employees by the end of the year. Um, I would say 65% of uh, the employees are developers. Um, 
hardcore developers from uh, either Odessa or Ushgod because we staff uh, with developers um, in Ukraine. So, our brand is uh, NXE, Open Reliable. And I will talk uh, now about uh, Easy Publish. I will not come into the, all the details that board cover because, well, you do it so much better. So. But I will talk uh, how Easy Publish can integrate to uh, um, systems like SharePoint, uh, Alfresco, Muxio, etc., to fetch um, fetch documents and content uh, from uh, from the enterprise content management as well. I will try not to get too technical. I'm, uh, um, well, if I talk too technical, please raise your hand and tell me to. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, content management, um, or CMIS, it stands for Content Management uh, Interoperability Services. It's a web service interface uh, to enterprise content management systems. And we use it to interact. Uh, between different content management systems so that they can actually share the content between them. Um, CMS is adopted by uh, Microsoft, IBM, uh, Alfresco, uh, Nuxu, uh, even Oracle is uh, adapting to this standard. And uh, yeah, you can uh, connect to any CMS. Uh, uh, content repository to either browse content, you can s search content. I will do a demo afterwards where I actually uh, fetch content from a, uh, another enterprise content management system. And uh, what's important is that we retrieve your document with the right status. It means that once you have a, if, you, if you're working on a document, it's a draft. And uh, once the draft has been approved, it would be automatically be pushed uh, as the final version to web. I'll show more about that later. And uh, of course, you can create folders and documents in well, both the systems. So I've tried to make a comprehensive sketch here to show you how it works. Uh, let's say that the content application in this, um, for this matter, is the is easy publish. Then you can uh, then we use the CMIS request to the uh, web-based protocol to fetch uh, information from different content repositories. So let's say that this is uh, Alfresco, <coughs> this could be SharePoint, and that could be well the ERP system, which contains some contracts, for instance. Uh, on Easy Alfresco, we do uh, we have a, a CMIS client on the Easy Publish site, and we have uh, the CMIS server on the Alfresco site. Anybody heard of Alfresco before? Two, three. Okay. Alfresco is a is an enterprise content management system for well, document document handling and workflows. Uh, you can. In the open source world, it's the competitor as for SharePoint in the proprietary world. So, um, I could easily have uh, used uh, SharePoint here as the example, but uh, well, I can download a fresco for free, so that's why I'm using this as a, an example. <laughs> um, in the document repository, you can have uh, your RFPs, your uh, job posts, specifications, you can have the case studies, etc., that you produce for the clients. And you can fetch this information uh, through the CMIS interface and access it on the web. Yes. So, you can, like I said, you can easily share the content between the systems. Um, so the integration of our organization, CMS and ECM, enables new levels of control and process efficiency. Um, the original version is always stored in the enterprise content management system, so you only fetch, um, you only have a link to the document in the CMS. <coughs> CMS. Uh, 
and um, it's easy accessible from the from a tab in uh, the easy publish Visivic editor, the online editor. Uh, so you can browse uh, your local repository on web, or you can uh, browse your um, your other repositories. I will show this in a demo later. And uh, the support for CMIS is, like I said, uh, Alfresco, Nuxio, SharePoint, IBM, and uh, Oracle. Yeah, so this is the back end of the Easy. Uh, board didn't show this, but uh, this is the other interface for Easy, where you can uh, well edit the content, add the content, um, and you can also browse the content in the other repositories from Easy. So I uh, hope I don't think my mouth too full, but I I see the <laughs> CMIS as the new glue because we can use this to um, well um, to glue uh, systems together, um, and this is a standard that is. Um, Final. It was final in February this year, so it's a fairly new standard. But all the big vendors are adopting to this standard, so it's an important standard for the future, and it will continue to grow. Um, this is a picture from uh, our uh, dream architecture slide on our website, um, and uh, we are using uh, LDAP in terms of single sign-on. So that when you sign in on the web page, you automatically <coughs> sign in on the ECM, uh, and we adopt your user rights of the user in the enterprise content management system. So let's say that you have the Alfresco or Nuxu or Sugar CRM or Moodle Open ERP. You can have SAP. You can have Microsoft. You can have Oracle, and you can use the same interface to actually interact with these um, systems. Then we use uh, yeah, like Carrot or Solar uh, in terms of indexing the content, and then it will be pushed to Easy Publish for handling up here. Easy Publish is over here. We also deliver LifeRay, which is a, a portal framework. Um, yeah. And of course, you can connect to different um, repositories at the same time. Demo. Uh, okay, well, what I will show now, I will uh, first log into Alfresco to show you the document that I'm editing. Uh, after that, I will go to uh, to my XP installation to show you how I, w I how I interact with the document, how I work with the document from uh, Office 2007. Is my demo. Uh, this will also work for uh, Office 2010, of course. And then I will show you how I can uh, extract the document to EC.